Hello, everyone. How are you today? I hope that you are all well. I'm now trying to show you how to use Alicet, an artificial intelligence based platform to help you to do basic literature review or to create your questions or research and also doing other things. Now I'm going to show you how to use this uh, exciting uh, platform. Yeah. So at first, you just can go to alicet.org as shown here, and then you will be directed into this page. So basically you can ask research questions or you can go to the task later on. So make sure you are uh, sign up, you sign up to this one and you are, you are logging, you are logged in here. And then let's try to use the task feature. So I can click the task feature. Here you are given already several uh, default uh, tasks. Yeah, for example, the most used one uh, will be literature review. Uh, you can also brainstorm research questions and you can also use other people's tasks, like for example, generate a possible response, uh, suggest an up-to-date up research topics and so on. You can also create your own task. Now I'm going to show you how to use Alicet by employing literature review, exploring research questions. So you can click on this one and then it will give you this page and then you can ask a question, yeah? for example, uh, or give a, a, a statement. Yeah? For example, you are interested on digital literacy in EFL uh, context in Indonesia, then you can click search if you're sure with that. And then it will give you these results. So basically this is already a matrix, isn't it? Already a literature review matrix consisting of four columns. Yeah, in this case, uh, the title of the paper, the answer to your uh, question just now, the year and the subject. You can add the column and I suggest you to do that because it will give you a more complete picture about your literature review metrics. So you can add authors, the name of the journals, where the articles were written, the study type. You can also add the population, uh, studies, characteristics, age, uh, region, for example, if you want to know, especially if it is uh, from different countries. And then you can also create intervention, duration, and uh, you can leave those uh, not related to you like this, uh, normally in medical, uh, I think. And then you can also click on the result. And you can also add your own. Yeah, I think that will be enough for the metadata. So now you will have 18 columns. Yeah, it will give you here the paper title from the recent one, the most recent one. You can also you know, uh, order that one from, uh, from a different point of view. And then the number of citations, the name of the authors, the journal, and then if it has, for example, participants, it will mm -hmm. give you the numbers here. And number of studies and population characteristics, it will give you how many uh, samples or respondents being uh, studied here and then age and then region because I uh, search using Indonesian uh, keywords there all will be from Indonesia but then if you are you know leave it blank like here you don't put uh, in Indonesian context then you can have from different countries all right so you have basically 18 columns consisting of metadata and then if you're interested you can click uh, or put a star on the articles that you are interested in, for example, this is only an example, I just uh, click every uh, article here. And then you can also have more by clicking show more. Yeah. And then it will give you uh, some others. Let's say that you have uh, adequate number of articles. Let's say you have 10 or even 30 to 50, depending on the study. Yeah, let's say you have that one. Now you are interested to save that one. Yeah, so what you need to do is to save that one. You can save using .bib, meaning that 
it is based on bibliographic system. Uh, the good thing for this is that you can later drag and drop the metadata on Bib into Mendeley. I will demonstrate that later, uh, later after this. And then you can also save it using CSV file. This will be good for you because it will give you an Excel type file uh, showing the, the uh, result of your query just now. Okay, so I will also click that one and then we'll save this one. And then the next thing that you can do is to open the Excel file. While now the problem for Excel sometimes is if you click it directly, eh, the column will be jumbled. Yeah, it's not really in order. So what you have to do with that is you need to order it again. So you can click open first for the Excel, and then you need to use the open feature from Excel. Okay, so I hope you can see this one. So what you need to do is to click file and then open. Yeah, and then look for that file. Yeah, uh, I put it in the download folder here. And then this is the result for our query just now on Alison. And then I put, uh, I click open. Now it will ask you this one. Okay, what you need to do is to fix the column. Yeah, otherwise it will be jumbled. Okay, so what you need to do is you can click the limited. I think, and then this comma, yeah, click comma, and then it will give you this preview, yeah, of paper title and so on, and then click this. Hopefully it works, yes, it will directly or automatically give you the number of paper that you selected just now, I selected 19, and then everything is in order in the right column. If you did not do that, sometimes uh, in several Excel files or programs, depending on the updates, it will be jumbled. Yeah, so everything into one color. So that's the idea. Then you can also see now even the DOI, or uh, if you want to know that one, some of them consist of DOI, and it will be good to uh, look for the uh, original paper later on in Mendeley, if you are using Mendeley for referencing system. Okay, so that's the idea. Now I'm going to show you how to put the result of Alicid into Mendeley. So you can click Mendeley, like what uh, you uh, saw here. So again, you have to have an account here, and then uh, I suggest you to create a folder on the left side here. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of folders uh, consisting of different specific topics. So it will ease me to see what is the topic about. Now let's see that it is about Alison because now it is about digital literacy in Indonesian EFL. So you can put it that way or you can, you know, you can put it uh, your own way. So you have a special folder now on digital literacy in Indonesian context. Now what you have to do is to look for the BIP file just now that you are selected in your uh, save folder, for example, it is here. Now I will just drag and drop that one into Mendeley and it will give you the metadata. But of course, uh, sometimes the metadata are not correct. So this way you need to uh, refine the metadata. For example, like this, you have to follow the APA style, yeah, like that. Yeah, some of the Mendeley already uh, identified this into a uh, small case, yeah. So you can also do that. Uh, you can have capital case if it is uh, a label, yeah, like the name of a theory, a, a place, uh, or concept, yeah. And then you have to. Uh, make it suitable, you know, to the template being used, All right? Now you can complete the ideas here. For example, Indonesia will be capital letter. You have to the capital case also. And this one will be small case. So you have that one and then check this one. And then sometimes it doesn't have the file. So what you can do is you can find the original file. Yeah, how to do that? First, you can look for the Mendeley catalog 
yeah, if it is active like this, it is active. You can click that one, and then you can go to the real file, or you can identify from the name of the journal. Uh, so you can complete, for example, the abstract, the DOI, which is important, and then the original file. Now let us try that one. I click using the Mendeley catalog, so it will give us the link. Hopefully, it is the right file. So yes, it is written by the same authors and the same uh, article, and then it is open access. So you can click Add to Library. If it is signed in, you need to sign in first. If not, we just click the uh, video. So I need to do sign in first because uh, it is not signed in yet for my number link. Hopefully, the password is right. Yeah? Okay, so I'm already in, and then I can directly click Add to Library, meaning that it will be added to my Mendeley. Or if not, you can click from the DOI or directly download the folder. Okay, so let me try a few PDF uh, features first and using a new tab. So it is okay, it is already downloading here. Remember the, the name of the file, or if you want to uh, look from the DOI or digital object identifier, you can click the DOI and then it will give you or direct you to the uh, website where it is uh, published. For example, it is published here in Journal of Language Teaching and Research. Of course, you need to search for the journal, the quality of the journal, and so on and so on. You can also directly then download the PDF if it is open access. Okay, so it will go the same to the file that we already downloaded before. And then what you can do later is you can rename the file or you can directly add to Mendeley. Now, let me show you how to do that. On. Let, let, let's uh, think that this is uh, the same thing. So you, you download the same paper. Now, what you can do is you can add that file to the metadata of the article that you selected. So you can click Add File, and then it will ask you to go to the files that you downloaded. So I think this is the file. Yeah, if I preview that one, and I can see that uh, it is the right file. Yeah, because this is written by the, these authors. And then what I can do is to click Open. And then it will be directed here, and then I can complete now the metadata. For example, uh, I need to check the name of the author. Okay, sometimes it doesn't uh, go right, and it is okay. Now I, I check on the metadata, for example, the year, the volume, the number, the page number. What you can add here is uh, this the abstract. You just can copy because it doesn't read directly from the file, and then uh, okay, I missed this one. So uh, I can copy the the abstract here. Yeah. So I can add what is needed here. Okay. And then uh, the most important thing that you can add is uh, the DOI number. So you can copy this one. And then add again. Again, sometimes uh, it directly reads the metadata completely as uh, possible. Sometimes we need to add. Okay. So that's the idea. Later you can you know cite in your uh, Microsoft Word and then do that. Okay. I think that's all for today for the use of Aliset and then how to read it in Excel file or CSV file. And then you can also uh, put that into Mendeley. And for literature review activity, you can uh, read from the Excel file, I think, and then you can do a mapping. Yeah, from here, for example, you can do a mapping who is working on what and then what is the Finding, yeah, this is here. And then you can find the novelty or the gap for existing research. And then from that, you can create your own uh, new research, yeah, based on the gap or novelty that you find from already conducted research. I think that's all. Thank you very much. So I hope it helps you. All the best. Stay healthy. Bye bye.